Hi, this is Kyle from McGraw-Hill, and in this short video, I'm going to cover a best practice that will allow your students to have a very personalized and very meaningful study session for comprehensive quizzes and tests. So we all know that SmartBook is really going to hammer home the conceptual pieces that each student needs to focus on as they work through the reading. However, you're going to have students that say to you, I need to make sure that I'm ready for this comprehensive quiz or test. So here's a way that you can effectively use the SmartBook tool to help the student accomplish that goal. All right, so first you're going to tell them to click on My Reports. Okay, so when we're in the My Reports tab, we're going to click on Missed Questions. Missed Questions will break out chapter by chapter each of the questions that the student missed when they were in the practice phase working on that chapter. So if I had been working in five different chapters, I would have five chapters worth of missed questions that I could go through. This is a great first step for getting your students to focus on the things that they struggled with as they work through the chapter. So if I expand the missed questions for chapter three, you'll see that I have five questions that I missed during my session. And I can select a question and try to successfully answer it. All right, so what are the primary elements found on a balance sheet? Okay, so I was correct. When I click OK, I return to the missed questions area, and now you'll see that I only have four questions remaining. A student can come through and they can successfully answer each of these questions and effectively clear out each of their chapters. After they've done this, that's kind of step one. What can they do as a step two to really make sure that they're ready for a comprehensive assignment? You can send them down to the practice quiz. All right, and in the practice quiz, the students will select the chapters that will be covered on whatever quiz or assessment they're about to sit for. So let's say it was the first four chapters of the text. Then they're actually able to select how many questions they want to see in total. They click Start Quiz, and they will just be asked questions that pertain to those four chapters. Now, what selects which questions appear? It's going to be a mixture of what the authors and subject matter experts deemed were the most mission critical pieces of the chapter, as well as the pieces of content that the students struggled with the most as they were working through their chapter assignments. Um, so it makes for a very individualized study path, but it's going to be very effective because it hones in on the areas that the students struggled with. All right, so I sped through this to show you that the students get feedback about how many questions they missed, how many they successfully answered. And the nice thing is, if I click continue and I return, when I go back up to missed questions, I'm now going to have missed questions from the practice quiz. So this is kind of step three. Step one, you have the students go in and clear out their missed questions. Step two, run a practice quiz so that you can really test yourself and see if you're ready with the concepts. And then step three, that final step, go back in and clear these missed questions out that you've accumulated after taking the practice quiz. I hope you found this video helpful.